Before we get into the video guys, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, leave a like and tell me in that comment section what you're most looking forward to from Destiny 2. Can we reach 4000 likes? That would be absolutely epic if we could. What's going on guys? Today I bring you a new Destiny video and today we're going to cover the latest teaser trailer from the Age of Triumph in a depth you won't see anywhere else. Let's start by previewing the trailer then I'll break down every detail I have found. Today and tomorrow and every day you fight for us. You have shown me what it is to hope. We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. Okay, so the trailer starts where we see a hunter with what I've speculated wearing a new water glass cloak, which looks amazing. You can also see that bionic robo morpho in copper leg, also the gauntlet as well, which I do believe will be a part of water glass armor set. Moving on and the next piece of action we see a Warlock, Titan and Hunter in what I'm sure is the new Crotus and Gear rocking ornaments as well as wielding those amazing primary elemental weapons. The reason I say elemental even though it hasn't been 100% confirmed by Bungie, look at the Oversoul Edict the Titan is wielding and shooting. Looks for sure to me to be shooting Ark. Definitely a clear blue colour coming from the weapon, like we see in Arc Burn weapons. Unfortunately, in this shot, we don't see either the Beast Defiant the Hunter is holding, nor the Word of Crow to the Warlock is holding shoot. Uh, but let's take another look at the armour. I mean, Jesus, how fucking badass does this look? Look at the fucking spikes on the Warlock's shoulders. Man, oh man, I cannot wait. Moving on, and next we see a little snippet of Gold Roth from the Crotus End Raid. In this footage I can't make out anything new besides a kind of reddish glow to the fat morpho but it could be lighting. The next scene from the same snippet we see a close up of the warlock wearing the mouth of Ur helmet. Obviously rocking a new ornament I believe which we are getting with the Age of Triumph update. Looks absolutely incredible by the way. Also we see a new bond. Another thing here which I could be a million miles off is this Anguish of Joyston. Looks to be shooting art burn to me, I mean like it looks like blue bullets are coming at this motherfucker. I mean like I said I could be wrong and a million miles away but it does look that way. Next up we get another preview of some of the raid gear with ornaments applied. It's hard from the shot to make out exactly what this armor is. But if I had to guess I would say it's either a mix or the king's full armor. Judging by the armor on the right. Center armor looks like something we ain't seen before. But the left side armor does look something similar to that Crota's end gear we saw earlier. Okay so moving on and next up I believe we get a first glimpse of the new NLB No Land Beyond ornament. Now I could be wrong, but I think I'm actually right. The reason I say that is because this Guardian looks to have the Crotus End shotgun on his back, the Sword Breaker. There isn't any other primary sniper that I'm aware of. Thing here is though, this weapon doesn't look like the Nolan Beyond in appearance, as it has a stand at the front which is an understanded Nolan Beyond. But the way he cocks the weapon is also the same as what we see with the Nolan Beyond. So with this new weapon ornament, we are seeing a design change. That's really interesting in my opinion. This Titan I believe is also wearing the new King's Fall armor with an ornament applied. Just judging by the spikes and the thighs and the arm piece design. Next up we see a Warlock in what I'm certain is the new water glass gear. Rocking ornaments. This motherfucker has tentacles. I mean what the fuck? Also he's welding what I believe is the new Fatebringer. Uh, probably with an ornament applied because the colour has changed. Like a new silver and gold, looking sharp as fuck. The reason that I say this is because later in the video we do see a warlock in a little snippet of PvP holding what looks to be a Fatebringer, which is a standard colour. Next up we see a hunter wearing that Wrath of the Machine armour, but fuck that, look at the Vex. Kitted out in chrome by the looks of it. This is obviously being the new ornament for this beast. If not the ornament, probably just a new Vex that drops from the Vault of Glass. 
who knows? Moving on, and here we see that little bit of PvP. Like I said, the Warlock holding the normal looking uh, Fatebringer. What's interesting besides this and the armor is I believe here we get a first glimpse of the Dragon's Breath. Rocking that new ornament. Absolutely fucking epic looking like a tiger. Shame the weapon stinks. Last but not least we see five guardians wearing all kinds of gear. What stands out here to me though most is the center guardian. What is that on his back? I have no idea but it looks fucking epic. Could be a part of the glass armor with ornaments applied. I have a feeling it's the same set of ornaments applied to the Vortoglass gear for the titan which is applied to the hunter which gives it that motherfucking Robocop leg. Armour that other guardians seem to be wearing, I believe we've covered it already in the video. But guys, that is it. If I've missed anything, be sure to let me know down below in that comments section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, the third and final stream of the Age of Triumph drops tomorrow. I will have all your needs covered in videos to come, so subscribe if you're new around here. Also turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the